my poet is William Butler Yeats. He was an Irish poet, a dramatist, and a prose writer. He won a Nobel Prize for Literature in 1923 and was one of the greatest English language poets of the 20th century. His most one of his most famous books is called The Stolen Child and he wrote it in 1886 and one of his poems is The Song of the Wandering Angus. William Butler Yeats was a part of the Irish literature establishment. He helped found the Abbey Theater and he later served two terms as a senator of the Irish Free State. This is his poem called Song of the Wandering Angus. I went out to the hazel wood because a fire was in my head, and cut and peeled a hazel wand and hooked a berry to a thread. And when white moths were on the wing and moth-like stars were flickering out, I dropped the berry in a stream and caught a little silver trout. When I had laid it on the floor, I went to blow a fire aflame. But something rustled on the floor, and someone called me by my name. It had become a glimmering girl with apple blossom in her hair, who called me by my name and ran and faded through the brightening air. Though I am old with wa with wandering through the hollow lands and hilly lands, I will find out where she has gone and kiss her lips and take her hands and walk among long dappled grass and pluck till time and times are done the silver apples of the moon and the golden apples of the sun yeats was a student of irish folklore and he would have known about all the myths surrounding angus however th his poem does not retell any myths it's more likely Yeats has basic ideas about the story. He took the basic idea and created his own story. This poem can be interpreted as a sequence, a dream sequence, or retelling an old myth. The most fascinating point for many readers is the main theme, and it is a search for love, a lifelong search for love which people want but can't seem to have. And this is my bibliography, and here are all of my sources.